at Eldridge Park for the decisive Game 3 of the Eastern Divisional Conference Semifinals. I'm Amanda Irvin as the Firebirds take on the Chatham Anglers at 7 p.m. Tune in to the Bird Buzz for more analysis. Here with the Bird Buzz, I'm Amanda Irvin, joined by broadcaster Nate Gatter. Nate, Game 3, Eastern Division Semifinals, winner go home tonight. Firebirds dropped one last night in Chatham, one to nothing. One of the only shout shutouts this season for the Firebirds. What made Chatham's arms able to stop the Firebird bats? They threw a lot of strikes, and last night, uncharacteristically, the Firebirds weren't able to put them in play a whole lot. They did hit some balls hard, but a lot of strikeouts, and that's what's going to happen, especially when you had a team like Chatham that had made 10 errors in its last three games. You'd like to see them putting the ball in play a little bit more because they didn't really challenge the defense last night. Chatham still made one more error, and that was with very few balls in play. You got a guy, Parker Dunchy, goes six innings and, give, and strikes out eight, doesn't walk anybody, and then two guys behind him don't walk anybody. And when you go through and you don't get any walks and you're striking out 12, 13, 14 times, in a game, it's very difficult to score because you're not putting any pressure on that defense. Chatham scored first in both of the games, saved Zach Birdie, didn't pitch him yesterday. How important is it for the Firebirds to get ahead early here tonight? It's extremely important. I mean, it, they, Chatham did score both first in both games, and that's worth noting that the Firebirds were able to come from behind in game one, but I think that's more than an, of an aberration that it would be the rule. In general, Chatham has had the best bullpen all season in the league, and they've only gotten stronger towards the end of the season. You've got Aaron McGarity closing it out with Zach Birdie in front of him, Brandon Miller, who was an all-star, and honestly, Zach Birdie probably would have been their closer and the best reliever in the league if he had been here all summer, but he was with Team USA to start out. So especially with was Birdie available for two, three, four innings tonight, it's very important to score first because he's already proven back in Chatham earlier on in the season that he can put the Firebirds down back on July 18th when he threw three scoreless innings. Luckily for Orleans, they were already winning, and so they were able to go on to win. But it, if they fall behind early tonight, it's going to be really tough to come back. So the Firebirds have found great success at home all year. They won home field advantage through the regular season. How important is that going to be tonight? Very important. I mean, this is this is why you played so hard in July. This is the reason to have home field advantage in a game of this magnitude because it's hard to overstate what the crowd means when you do have those great relievers. And at the end of the game, when you've got 3,000, 4,000 people screaming in their ear, it's a very different situation. A little harder to be effective. And these guys aren't going to give up, even if they do fall behind. Having this crowd behind them, they're not going to let it go easily. And that's really, really important. Having last reps. Bottom of the ninth, anything can happen in a close game. So I think the goal for Orleans is to at least be tied after five, six innings. Keep this game real close, five or six innings, and then try to take advantage of that home crowd and the, having the last at bat in the last two or three innings of the ball game. All right, Nate, what's the biggest key to a Firebird success tonight? Uh, the biggest key is to throw strikes to Chatham. Don't let them on base. Don't walk them. Don't hit them with pitches. Don't make too many errors. The defense has been good. No errors yet in the series. That's, it's important for that to continue. You have to force the Chatham offense, which has been really anemic all season long, to beat you with hits. Do not let them on base for free. On the offensive side, I hate to zero in on one individual, but I really think it's Willie Abreu. He's been swinging the hottest bat all along, and now Kelly Nicholson leaving him in as the designated hitter against a left-handed pitcher, Ty Dameron, and that's something we haven't seen much, Willie playing against a lefty, especially in the, in the recent going, but he hit over 400 down the stretch in the regular season the last week, and he's been hitting well so far. He's hit in both games, and now he's got a chance to put the Firebirds over the top in Game 3. All right, thanks for the analysis, Nate. For Nate Gatter, this was Amanda Irvin here with the Bird Buzz, the decisive.